welcome back to the cat cam design tutorial today we are going to draw knuckle joint old knuckle joint part dimension are in mm and draw in creo parametric 5.0 and in this tutorial we also first one is double i end select work directory set in desktop we set in desktop now first of all click the new folder and folder name knuckle joint and ok and select the ok now go to new select the part solid and this name double i and means fork and check this default template and ok now scroll down and select the solid part mmks means all dimension are in mm and run now this type of interface are there now first of all select this top plane and make a one plane and this plane offset to this main top plane this dimension is 18 mm and done now this plane are also selected sketch normal now first we draw two circle on this plane like this now the smaller one circle diameter are 30 mm and the bigger one circle diameter are 60 mm and done and ok go to this extrude and this extrude up to 22 mm and done now mirror this object to reference to this main top plane now go to this mirror you can select also this select item and plane and also apply select go through this reference and mirror to this plane now these are done and ok now see now select this front plane show in this front plane show in this tree you can select this front plane and show in this main highlight to the front plane now select front plane sketch normal now we apply reference to this some edges horizontal and vertical now done and close now go to the circle and draw one circle like tangent to this our reference line done now this dimension is near about 8 mm now done go to this trim segment or delete segment or select this all are unwanted lines or unwanted segment and make one path now done and ok now go to this sweep and go to this create or edit sweep section normal now go to this center rectangle and draw rectangle like this now dimension this dimension is 36 this dimension is 22 now done our rectangle and select the, only select ok now see this geometry are done but uh, some this corner error now remove this error then go to this option and select this option merge and now see the result of this merge and this all are merge in main our entity now done 
now see these are done now select this plane and one more plane we made and go to this plane and these are 18 mm automatically and this dimension is near about 147 mm and done now show this plane are created now the plane are also selected go to this sketch and select this sketch view and done now go to this rectangle and select center rectangle and draw center rectangle like this this line is also 36 and apply dimension to this line this are line are also 36 now done now this rectangle section done now ok and go to this extrude and extrude in reverse direction you can also select this arrow and also select this now go to this option now go to this and select this now go to this dimension no not provide dimension but uh, go to this and extrude up to next surface select this option now see the result of our screen this are uh, merged in our main second entity and done now this are all are done now select the face sketch and go to this sketch view or normal now draw one line like this go to the circle and draw circle like this now one more time line now go to this trim entity and uh, trim unwanted segment now this all are done and ok now go to this revolve now select this axis and select this line and show this are revolved 360 this our 2d sketch now we can select this remove material and see this are done now this pattern in our 4 now go to this pattern pattern now we can make a pattern to to this our cut revolve cut in our four pattern in this our uh, end now go to this pattern now we can select this axis and select this x axis and show in this zoom now see and done now see this our four cut revolve cut are done now one more time select the face this face sketch and the sketch will be normal or sketch view and select the circle and draw circle like this and this circle diameter are 30 mm and ok now extrude and extrude up to 30 mm and done now see our this double i end are done now add this plane and axis
now we can apply appearance on this over this object now go to this view go to this appearance and see different different appearance now first of all we apply first we select our object and this appearance now see our first part double i and appearance are complete now see the preview of our double i and now go to this application and select the render now click the render and select the maximum sample and select the resolution maximum and click render simply close close now go to show our main render image in our object see this are complete our object first now go to file and save our first part in our knuckle joint folder automatically our work directory selected now type name double i and fork and ok now done our first part and 